Y'all, grocery shopping has become exhausting. Work it, make it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul. This time I have our monthly haul from Sam's Club and from Walmart for the entire month. We stocked up on what we could because there's so much going on with this virus still, guys. Is it ever going to end? Is it ever? Now there is a shortage on meat again and I was able to get what I could get. I'm very grateful and happy for it, but it was exhausting. I had to stay up till past midnight to do my Sam's Club order. We had to go back and forth with Walmart. I had to run in Rouse's because Walmart was out of some things. The girl's tired, but we're set for the month and I could not be more grateful. So let me take you down to the counter. Let me show you what we got for the month from Sam's Club. They were out of a lot of things, a lot of complications. And then let me take it down to the counter for Walmart and for Rouse. So Sam's Club first, they were out of a ton of things. I did the Sam's pickup. This was $358. It was supposed to be almost a $600 haul, so I will explain the things that were missing. I'm picking up my Walmart order tomorrow. Let's get into it for $358. What did I get for our monthly haul for Sam's Club? So I did get the Mission Carb Balance Flour Tortillas. You get so many in here, guys. This is such a great deal. You get two times the eight count, and this is a fraction of the cost of one pack that you can get at Walmart. These are four net carbs for a tortilla. I choose not to eat these, um, not to say that I wouldn't ever, but the boys and the hubby love these. So I've been making that hack that I posted all over my private Facebook and Instagram with putting it in the toaster as a quesadilla game changer, guys. So definitely check that out and follow me in my private Facebook group. We'd love to have you. It's a really safe, awesome keto community space. I did get some tomatoes on the vine. This is such a great deal. I'm popping up prices, I know, as I'm talking, but this is such an awesome deal for tomatoes, and I like slicing these up. Salt and pepper on the side for a veggie option for the hubby when I don't feel like making one or don't want one myself. Now, I haven't hauled these in forever. These are the holy guacamole little cups. I love these little cups because they're already portioned. Sam's does sell like a three bag, big bag of their Members Mark guacamole, which is delicious, by the way, but I can't eat that much in one sitting and it gets it's brown on me. So I do like these little cups. They are great for portion control and when my avocados aren't ripe yet. So they're just one net carb, one sugar for one cup, 120 calories, 11 fat, and one protein. That's amazing. The ingredients on them are spot on. So I really like these classic ones. Again, a lot of my avocados have been acting crazy on me. These do expire though May 27th. So I will have to go through those pretty quickly. The only thing, bad thing I don't like about the little ones is they don't have a really good refrigerator life in my opinion. I did get the pulled pork. Y'all know I love this stuff for $10. You cannot beat two pounds. I make this in the crock pot plain and then I make pizzas with this. I make tacos with this. We do sandwiches. So it's $10 for the entire week of dinners. It's phenomenal. Y'all are going to love this. The ingredients are so clean. Like I've mentioned, it's just pork and then garlic powder, paprika, sea salt, natural flavors. It has zero carbs in it from my carb conscious people. It is great to get from Sam's Club. I did get the three pack of the silk almond milk. This, this is 364 ounces of the silk. This is the one I like to get, the unsweetened one, because it doesn't have any added um, sweetness in it and like the flavor mixed with things I don't like the way it tastes or it has extra calories. I think the other one has like 60 or 70. I like this one if I'm going to get it from Sam's Club. I have two of the shelf stable ones left from Costco, their brand, but again, we're not going to Costco and I do like this silk brand and this is a killer price versus buying it singly in store. Now something I have never purchased and you might be thinking, what girl are you doing with this? This is the Members Mark non-fat plain Greek yogurt. So for keto, I want to explain this. This has zero fat, so not ideal for keto, but a lot of your yogurts, even like the Too Good and the YQ that I love so much, it's not high in fat anyways. It's high in protein, 18 grams of protein for three-fourths of a cup of this, six grams of sugar, six carb. So I don't plan on eating three-fourths of a cup. I plan on eating like a standard little size, like the Too Good, and that's not going to be terrible. I'm actually going to try it out with my nut butter, 
high key granola like I always preach and take a test on it and see if the extra sugar, it's just gonna, it's just the sugars from the milk, guys. This is just pasture-raised, grade-A, non-fat milk. It's not like it's added sugars in there. So I'm gonna see if it affects me, and if it doesn't, that's a great price. I cannot find the YQ big one like this anywhere by me. And the too good is either hit or miss with finding it nowadays. Y'all know that's been my go-to here lately. But I thought, why not try it and see if it's gonna be a decent replacement for the YQ, because the YQ is really hard to find by me. I know a big conversation about yogurt, but I know get asked a lot of questions about it. Then we went in with a heavy whipping cream. This isn't the one I would ideally like to get. It does have carrageenan in it, which is a digestive gut health issue type of ingredient. And I've preached about that many times. You want to get organic that doesn't have carrageenan, but again, it's hard to find right now. And we've been using this for recipes and it's such a great deal. So we opted for that again this month. Now, last month I tried this Ali Genoa salami. This is such a great deal as well. I know I've said that a million times, but you get eight packs in here for the price. And this stuff is so good. It's clean ingredients. It's just pork, sea salt. It does have a little bit of turbinado sugar, nothing to register as a carb or sugars in the nutrition facts. So good. We've been eating these on my egg pizzas. We've been doing those pizza roll-ups I've made a video on. This is so awesome. So I wanted to have this again for the month for our pizza nights for Fridays. I did get some more of the Amish Blues Cheese Crumbles by Salemville. This stuff is so good. And I cannot believe this big 24 ounce lasts so long. I have never had one of these get moldy on me and they've lasted sometimes for over a month when opening. We love putting these on side salads or making that keto ladies blue cheese dressing. That is a must for Sam's Club. Another must is all the cheeses. I got cheese wasted and I'll probably get more cheese throughout the month. Y'all know how we roll. So I got two of the sharp cheddar cheeses. This is a great deal. I need to stop saying that girl. Two pounds, two pounds. So I got two of them. I like this one versus the mild because it doesn't have as much carbs in it. And something I have not bought before is the American pasteurized processed American cheese. The boys have been loving grilled cheeses and the quesadillas like I mentioned. And this type of cheese just doesn't melt the same. And this was a really clean option if you're looking for one for your kids. So the ingredients in it are just milk, cream, water, salt, cheese culture, sorbic acid, enzymes, soy, lectin, uh, beta carotene for the color. So a lot of them had some extra fillers in them, which I wasn't a fan of. This only has one carb for one slice for my carb uh, conscious people out there. So just keep that in mind that you can eat it too in moderation. And it's 120 slices for the price that I popped up. Can you believe this? So I'm going to be stocked up for cheese, for grilled cheeses and quesadillas. I think we're good for the boys. Now, something I got for myself and for the hubs, I've been obsessed with string cheese and stuffing it in everything right now. Don't ask me why, but that's been my obsession lately. Freeze these bad boys and make my bacon wrapped cheese sticks and then I'm going to be putting this in some ground meat and doing some concoction. I don't even know, but I got how many in here? You get 48 in there for the price. Yes, indeed, because I've been paying a million dollars for these little packs at Walmart and Whole Foods has been killing me. I then got our usual every single month. This is not for me. This is not for the kids. I swear to you, the hubby eats this entire thing. He is like a cheese snack or something fierce. This is the Members Mark Cracker Cut Cheese Collection. You get mild cheddar Swiss, Colby Jack, and pepper jack cheese in here. Two pounds for less than $10. I will do that all day, every day, every month to keep him happy and me not having to make him a snack or make him something. I skipped over the Brussels sprouts. This is a killer deal as well. You get two pounds for each one of these bags. I am going to freeze these, so I'm gonna like make certain portions and put them in freezer bags. That way when I wanna take them out for a side, it'll be real easy to take them out and they won't go bad on me. I actually got one for myself and one for my mother-in-law. Her and I both love us some Brussels sprouts. I got some more of the dinosaur chicken nuggets by Members Mark. This is four pounds, another great deal from them. Aylin absolutely loves these. We do have mm, just a little bit left from the last time I bought these, but I know that wouldn't last us for May. So I went ahead and got another bag of those that is pretty good ingredients guys from even the purdue and some of the other ones i've tried so not bad for the price as far as ingredients and what you're getting speaking of whalen he loves his oikos triple zero you get six of the vanilla six mixed berry and six strawberry 
The berry ones don't have acylfame, potassium, or carrageenan. I think the vanilla might have carrageenan. I'm not sure, but I try to go to those because they're the cleanest ingredients. So low sugar for something for your kids. Is this necessarily keto? Not really. It's kind of comparable to the Greek yogurt over there. I think it's a little bit higher in sugar, honestly, but it's really good for your kids. Speaking of kids, Waylon is also obsessed with hot dogs. I mean, he is a mama's boy through and through because the girl likes a hot dog as well. I went and opted for the Nathan's again. It's the best one I can find at Sam's Club. One carb for one franc. Their brand for the beef wins. Y'all were saying, get the beef wins. It's good ingredients. It is a little bit, but there's four carbs for each franc. So I would rather get this. And it is pretty good ingredients, guys. It does have um, nitrates in it, which I'm not a huge fan of, but we got to do what we got to do. So we went with the Nathan's three pound again this month. We went through all of them last month. Can you believe that? Never bought these at Sam's Club, but I've bought them at Walmart before. This is the Big Easy Foods, which is a local brand to us in New Orleans. Wild caught Gulf shrimp. So you get 31 to 50 peeled and deveined shrimp. They look pretty good. They're frozen. But what I like about these guys is that they are macro spot on. They are all locally caught, manufactured, everything right here in Louisiana in the Gulf. When you go to look at the other ones, they're not wild caught. They're like farm sustained and you don't want that for fish or for shrimp. It's just gross. You want wild caught everything. So this was the only one they had at Sam's Club and I've been craving some shrimp, something fierce. I wanted to go ahead and get a big bag and that was a great deal as well. Now I had a ton of meat in my cart and they were out of it. I guess with all this meat, plant factory scare stuff. I don't know what's going on y'all in this world, but I was able to get chicken and I was happy about that because we had zero chicken pretty much last month because I just went with, with was in the freezer. I didn't buy any chicken. I couldn't find it. Thank you, Jesus. I was able to get some chicken. So I got the members mark boneless, skinless chicken breast. This is $1.78 a pound. I mean, you can't get better than that. And it was $9.70 for almost six pounds of chicken breast. So I'm actually going to cut these in half, freezer bag these two, and we will be set for probably over a month with chicken breast. That's great. They were out of chicken thighs though. I wanted chicken thighs too, and they were out of that. So that was an out of stock item. I was able to snag the chicken drumsticks, 92 cents a pound at Sam's Club. Like what? 541 for six pounds of chicken drumsticks. I have this on the meal plan this month and I'll be freezing a bunch. And my plan was guys, our freezer is pretty much bare from last month. We didn't stock it up and we went through it and I'm trying to stock it up so we don't have to go like so ape at Sam's Club for the month of June. Now, when you do order online, some things are misleading, right? So I wanted to get like a six pack of their sirloins and they just gave me the four pack, which was $14.90. Really good deal for their steaks. I love their sirloin steaks at Sam's. I've mentioned that before. They're really thick cut, delicious, and that will get us two Fridays. We've been doing steaks or pizza on Friday night, so that'll be two Fridays for the month. I feel like I hold this every month. This is the broccoli florets. You get four 16 ounce microwavable pouches in here. I love that. I do have like three, I think in the freezer, but I have this as a side for a lot of our meals this month. Something I have not purchased from Sam's are their whole green beans. These are the frozen ones too, steam and bag. You get five 16 ounce ones. And I thought this would be good to do a Dakota ladies smothered green beans I love so much rather than using the canned kind. And the carb count on these are awesome. This too for the broccoli carb count is really good guys. And the price is right. I love the steamable bags. Y'all know microwave is the girl's best friend. Don't get triggered if you're anti, but I love that. That is like staple for veggie on the side and having it in the freezer, it's not gonna go bad. Something new we got was this Tattooed Chef Cauliflower Crust Cheese Pizza. Gluten-free, vegetarian, BST-free, excellent source of protein. This is not keto, okay? I don't want my keto peeps to think that, oh, I can go buy this, no. So look at the carb count, 26 to fiber, so it's really high up in there in carb, but it's low sugar and it's actually lower carb than DiGiorno or any other of your other cauliflower pizzas that I looked at. The ingredients are so good if y'all want to take a screenshot of it, but I got these for the boys because they've also been loving pizza night every once in a while. And the Quest pizzas are real tiny and Trey has gotten to where he doesn't like the Quest pizzas anymore. And I know that both of them will probably love this one. Something else we haven't bought from Sam's, but I know it's really good, is their Members Mark Creamy Almond Butter. So it's non-GMO, gluten-free. The only ingredients in it are almonds and salt. So it doesn't have any soybean oil, any of that. It's three net carbs for two tablespoons 
two tablespoons for my keto peeps out there, but I got this primarily for the boys as a peanut butter substitution. They've been loving peanut butter, and um, I have a keto jelly that I ordered off Amazon. I will link it down below that they're loving. That is zero sugar, so great than the one I picked up from Walmart. And they're loving that on their gluten-free bread or whatever, and they're flying through it. So I got one of these as 24 ounces. They were completely out of just regular like Star Kiss tuna or even the Members Mark brand. So I got this premium albacore tuna. You get eight cans in here. Not ideal for the price, but the hubby has been loving tuna fish for me to prep, and that's been saving me to have to make everybody something for lunch. So being that was all they had, I picked it up. Now, y'all, this was the deal of the day. Deal of the day. So they're Rayos. I told y'all that I think this is like a temporary thing in club because that's what the sign said when I went in club last time. But two of these is $8.98. I only put one in my cart, but they gave me two. And when I went to go check my receipt, it says two, but they only charged me $8.98, if that makes sense. So I got four of the Rayos for $8.98. Y'all know this one thing is usually $9 at Whole Foods. That's ridiculous. We will use it. I was loving that. I got some shelled walnuts. You might be thinking, why did you get walnuts over pecans, macadamias? Sam's Club doesn't sell macadamia nuts like Sam's Club or Costco does but I actually prefer walnuts to any other nut besides peanuts. You know, the girl is a sucker for peanuts and always gets kicked out of ketosis. But shelled walnuts are my favorite over pecans and macadamias actually, and they are two net carbs for a fourth of a cup. So that's not bad at all, and the ingredients are just walnuts. You get three pounds in here. I did not realize how big of a bag that was for the price. You cannot go wrong with that. I've been preaching the parchment paper to me since my Dollar Tree haul days. Like you need to get your parchment paper from Sam's Club. Two pack, uh, you get, what is it? 205 square feet in each one of these. And I just spent a painful amount on one of them at Walmart a couple of hauls back. And now I am stocked up because we use this all the time. That was a great investment. Now, instead of getting the little cutie oranges, they do not stay fresh for us long enough because Waylon's the only one that eats them. So half of a bag goes to waste and there goes half your money. So I got these 24 cups of the mandarin oranges and 100% juice for him because the sugar content was low. It's basically just oranges and 100% juice. And I thought that would be better than getting the the ones that go bad, if that makes sense. Also something that doesn't go bad is the pineapple chunks and 100% pineapple juice. You get four 20 ounce jars. This was such a great deal too, non-GMO. Waylon loves pineapple. And instead of getting a fresh pineapple, this was actually cheaper in the long run to do this. And that way it's shelf stable. Again, something that's not gonna go bad. I'm kind of going that route because we've had some things go bad on us um, when we're buying them fresh. Every month we get the sparkling ice. I got two of these, what is it, 20? four packs and this was the only one they had the other flavors said they were out of stock but that's okay this is a new mix and this is ones that we actually really enjoy the hubby's favorite is grape raspberry so happy to see it was in there black raspberry i enjoy classic lemonade and cherry limeade i enjoy as well i haven't had one of these since christmas i haven't even had one since the keto cut but i'm thinking about incorporating one soon because i miss them and they're delicious also something i really enjoy is the members mark plus waters these are the electrolyte waters so they're one liter bottles for less than nine dollars now these were out of stock forever and i was able to get it so happy i actually got two of them and i use these on my fasting days to get me through with the electrolytes i just really enjoy them i think they taste great and for the price i think it's killer we then got a little on the border wasted now y'all know if you've been with me for any amount of time my oldest son trey loves eating keto queso every single night with these chips, where his autism, he is picky, but the boy likes what he likes, and you know what? It's okay. And these chips are the best ones I can find. They're the on the border organic blue corn tortilla. And every haul, I feel like I tell y'all the same thing, but for newbies, I want to make sure that you guys know. So they're just organic blue corn, organic expeller press sunflower oil, expeller press safflower oil. You want to get expeller press because it's not going to strip everything of the goodness and put the filler in the bad in. So Expeller Press is the way to go and these are the best chips. They are gluten free, all the good stuff that you wanna see and that's what we wanna get. So I got six bags and they're a great price too, better than what you can get at Walmart and I got six bags because last month we got five 
and it held them over right until the end. We were almost out, so I got that extra one just to tide us over until June. But these I thought were a discontinued item because they were out of stock almost the entire month when I had stuff in my cart. And at the last minute, I was able to pick them up. They had them back in stock. So thank goodness because this is the cleanest, best chip I have found um, when looking everywhere, basically, unless you want to pay an arm and a leg for some of the other brands at Whole Foods. So that is our Sam's Club haul. Missing ground meat, missing burgers, missing bacon. Didn't have bacon. So the next time you see me in just a few moments, we'll see if I was able to get all the things we were missing in our Walmart online pickup. If not, I'm sure I'm telling you a story about me running in somewhere. So back from doing the Walmart online grocery pickup, we did have a lot of things out of stock, so I did have to run in Rouse's and make a quick run, but for the most part, I am super thrilled with what they did have in stock because the girl was worried after we left Sam's Club. So let's start with Walmart. So they did give me a little bag, a little surprise in there, which was nice, and I haven't even looked to see what's in there. So I got a free plug from Glade, which is cool. I got some My Doll, some Aleve, a Baby Ruth that we uh, can't be eating because we keto. I got some lens wipes, we got some Claritin chewables, and it looks like some coupons. So it's always nice when they throw in those little reusable bags and the little freebie. So I appreciate that from the Walmart grocery pickup. They do that quite often. So we did get the Mountain White Canyon Bakehouse gluten-free bread. That's the one that we're loving so much because the slices are just much thicker and wider in my opinion. Now I do want to talk about eggs for a minute because I want to make sure that y'all know when you put items in your Walmart cart, there's going to be a certain price, right? And that's the price when you go to check out, that's the price it's locked in out, which is nice. If you find that something is cheaper after you go back, you know you can go back and add stuff after you put in your order before your pickup time. If you find stuff is cheaper, you can always take these out of your cart and then you can go back and put the cheaper priced item back in there. So let me tell you a little story about these. So these 60 count eggs were only $6.18 when I put them in my cart and checked out. That's how much I paid for them. So about $13 for 120 eggs. When I went back to go add things to my cart, y'all, they have raised the price of eggs. This 60 count egg now is almost $13 for one. So that is crazy to me. So I want y'all to make sure to always go back. One time I had strawberries in my cart and they were legit like $3 and something and I had already checked out but it wasn't my time to pick you up yet. And I saw in my favorites, they lowered them to like a dollar twelve. So I took them out my cart and re-put them in for a dollar twelve. So that's just a little hack and a tip with the Walmart grocery pickup. But glad that I put these in my cart ahead of time because they have raised the price of eggs so expensive now. A dozen's like three dollars where I live. Y'all comment down below if eggs are got have gotten really expensive by you. I think this is mind blowing with how things go up, go down with this quarantine life. So a lot of talk. I got two 60 count eggs to stock us up for the month. However, that one y'all saw me haul last time, we're out of it already. We go through some eggs like nobody's business. Also something that I got for a good deal. These were only $4 and some change when I checked out. When I went back to add other things, I noticed that these went up to almost $7 y'all for grapes. What is my life? Oh my gosh. Things are going up and the girl's not liking it. Got way on some bananas. I think I only put six in my cart, but they gave me a ton and he will go through them. Got some lemons for water. I love adding that to my water. Again, talking about the strawberries, we got some strawberries. I've been adding that to lots of desserts. Really eat the damn berries. If you've been with me for a while, I say to eat the damn berries all the time. Do it, so delicious, good for you, especially with getting your immune system up. I got some cilantro, happy they had the cheap one because that freeze dried one or whatever I got last time. That was expensive and such a rip. We got Blaze going on in the background, y'all, so we can get these boys uh, occupied while I can get this done. A quarantine, mom life for show. Sure. So I got some peeled sliced apples. I know, why aren't you just getting regular? our apples they're spoiling on us before we can these last forever and my boys like these better I don't even know I'm just going with what's the healthiest and what they'll actually eat so we're not wasting food and wasting money y'all know what I mean so something that I got you might be thinking why'd you get these I wanted the patties they were out of stock there and at Rouse's so I just got the links and the reason why I like these y'all is because they are a little lower in fat they're just five and a half grams of fat 11 protein for three links zero carbs the ingredients on them are so clean guys like minimal sugar all sausage we've talked about has a little bit of sugar in it dextrose so good 
The regular full fat ones I got, the Great Value ones a couple of hauls back, it's like 30 grams of fat per patty before I add anything else. And like all my macros are up for breakfast. I was like, I can't be having this. So I went ahead and opted for um, those turkey ones because they're clean and that won't be as much fat, but it's the protein that I want to get in with alongside my eggs or if I make a breakfast sandwich, if that makes sense. I'd rather the sausage patties, but like I said, they're out of stock everywhere. Something we mentioned was out of stock at Sam's Club and I was so grateful I was able to get anything with this crazy meat bacon shortage they've got going on is the Hormel Natural Choice Original Thick Uncured Bacon. This one is really good. Y'all know I like this Natural Choice brand. And I did not know that they made this thick cut one. So it's pretty good. It's 20 ounces for one pound. And it was the same price as the less ounce one, if that makes sense. So to be honest, we're probably going to have to get more bacon than this because we go through a ton of bacon throughout the month. But I got a backup. And I've mentioned before, Thomas DeLauer, he preaches all the time in his little grocery run-ins that, especially this one particularly, is not terrible. It's not bad. So I didn't think they would have that. I wanted to get a backup just in case. So this is the Black Label Family Pack, fully cooked, original. This is the microwavable bacon, 30 slices in here. So it's two packs. This was like $10. It was a little bit pricey. I would have much rather bought bacon at Sam's Club guys but they were completely out so we had to do what we had to do and we have to get bacon in our life I, the girl can't live without it something else we can't live without is the burgers so they were out of these at Sam's Club these are the 80 slash 20 percent 100% pure beef burgers. These are the ones we got last time and we really like them and they're pretty reasonable price. So I got two of them. So we got 24. That probably honestly will not last us the month, but it will get us going. Also got three pounds of the ground beef chuck and just the roll. They were out of stock, almost all ground meat with everything we got going on with this scare. So I was happy to get that. And this was an awesome substitution. So on their website, the market side grass fed beef was on sale. The 80-20 was on sale for like $4 and some change. That's a great price for grass fed beef. And it was on sale. So I put two of them in my cart because that was the max they allowed you to put in. And they said they were out of stock. So they subbed me though for the 90-10, which I like a fattier ground meat, but that's okay. Just like we've got going on with the turkey, I can get my fats in other ways. So being that I got the 90-10 for $4.18 a pack for grass fed beef, I'll take it all day, every day. That was an amazing substitution. Something that wasn't the best deal, honestly, uh, again, not being able to go in store and see. I wanted to get some ground sausage, but the Jimmy Dean and all the other flavors, they've got some corn syrup and stuff going on inside the ingredients. It's just not good, and the carb count. And this looked pretty good to me. So this is the Butterball All Natural Turkey Breakfast Sausage Crumbles, and you get eight ounces, so it's not you know quite a pound there. But as far as the macros go, it's just like the sausage links, and again, it's really good as far as the ingredients go. Trey's turning all the lights off if the lighting's acting cray. I got two of those because I'm going to be making the sausage, gravy, and biscuits from the Southern Keto Cookbook and some other recipes that called for breakfast sausage. So I thought that was a cleaner option and it wasn't expensive either. I've got a recipe that calls for Italian sausage as well and this Johnsonville Mild Natural is the cleanest one that I can find y'all with the ingredients. It is pork. It's got 2% pork broth with natural flavoring, salt, natural sugar, spices, paprika, natural flavors. All the other ones, the Walmart brand, they've got another big brand one. Corn syrup, corn syrup, you don't want that. So yeah, it's got a little sugar in there, but it is so minuscule, it's not even showing up on the macros. The corn syrup ones do. They have like one or two net carbs, so that's why I opt for that one. I got a little cream cheese wasted because they didn't have the big packs at Sam's, or y'all know that's a much better deal. I got two of the two packs of the Philadelphia and the single ones just to tide us over for Trey's Keto Queso and the truffles and other recipes that I'll be making. I need this in my life, and they didn't have it at Sam's, so I was so happy they had it at Walmart because they've been sold out at Walmart too. Another thing happy to see is they did have the Kerrygold butter. I've been using this for my truffles. I think it makes a difference. I I can tell the difference in the taste versus your conventional butter, but I don't mind using conventional butter in the baking, but like to top things, I when you can taste it, does that make sense? I don't even know, that's my philosophy and I'm going with it. So some dirty keto items, all right? So I've had a lot of comments on the grocery hauls like, oh, you eat so much processed, keto food, this and that. Y'all, the keto cut was two months and we ate all whole foods, no sweeteners, so freaking, oh my gosh, so strict on myself. If you're new and you don't know, I just came off of a strict keto cut for two months and I'm going back to some things that I enjoy that aren't terrible, but I like in my life, okay? And I blame that keto lady and Christy Davis here on YouTube for this 
palmetto cheese with jalapenos. Uh, it looks delicious. I, my uncle makes a homemade version of this that's absolutely bomb. But just for convenience, I went with this one because this is the one they rave about so much. It does have one net carb for two tablespoons, 12 fat, and three protein. The ingredients, there's a slew, and there's a couple of them in there that I'm just going to close my eyes when I eat and just enjoy it because I know it's going to be spot on delicious with some pork rinds or some cucumber slices. Don't judge me. Don't come for me, keto police. We're loving it. Also, I wanted to get from Sam's Club. They make a huge one like this at Sam's Club that's delicious. I've never tried the market side, but I figured it was the same exact one the jalapeno artichoke dip so good guys it's just cream cheese parmesan cheese mayonnaise jalapeno peppers artichoke hearts and sour cream this stuff is so good the one from sam's club anyway and it is one carb for two tablespoons as well slew of ingredients but they're really not as bad as that one i will say so i don't mind eating this one and i'm looking forward to like chips and dip i don't know i've been craving a salty chips and dip here lately when getting off the keto cut and I love pork rinds and I love dipping into something like that. If you don't like that life, what is your life? What are you even doing? So we are doing the damn thing. We are eating the dirty keto just a little bit, you know, in moderation guys, in moderation. Mm -hmm. I had to get some wings. So I did put one of these in my cart and then I had just the drumette bag in my cart and they were sold out. So I got another bag of the chicken wing sections, which are drumettes and little wings. So I'm fine with that. They did not have any wings at Sam's Club. They didn't have fresh frozen. They didn't have any at Rouse's. So I am grateful to get what I can get. So we got eight pounds of wings. We got to be a wing set for the next couple of months y'all we don't have to buy wings for days the thing i was also grateful to see was cauliflower i know so stupid dollar a bag such a great deal they have been out of cauliflower like this since lockdown since march 13th is when we went on lockdown friday the 13th i'll never forget it because it was my last day of work and it was such a freaky friday for sure Four bags, that's not gonna do us for the month, but to get us started, and I thought they were gonna be out of stock, so I'm grateful. I make my Kali mash from Dakita Lady, which is a loaded Kali mash. It is so, so good, so I'm so happy to have that. Versus the rice, I'm getting tired of the rice, to be honest. And we got cheese wasted back here. They were out of sliced cheese at Sam's Club, so I got the pepper jack cheese for myself. I like that the best. I got some of the sharp cheddar ultra thin for the hubby and myself too for bunless burgers. And then I got two packages of the mozzarella sliced cheese to make those pizza roll ups or anything else roll up. I have the video linked down in the description box and in the I cards for you guys. You just need sliced mozzarella cheese. They've been out of mozzarella cheese for a while, um, so I was able to snag two just to have in the fridge for when that craving strikes. Trey has been loving these Vans gluten-free waffles. I've been preaching it every week, and he eats two per day, and there's only six in there, so you don't get a lot. They are a little bit cheaper at Walmart than they are at Winn-Dixie, Whole Foods, and other places, so I was able to put four in my cart. They've been hit or miss with having them in stock, so happy that they had them because he eats that with some sugar-free Lakanto, so a little whip topping and some sugar-free sprinkles with some fruit on the side, and that is his healthy, gluten-free breakfast, y'all. So I don't mind picking that up for him. That's a much better choice than eating Frosted Flakes or something else, you know what I mean? Speaking of, I got the diced pears. A lot of questions with these last week when I hauled them for him. I don't like these because they have sucralose. I can only find the stevia sweetened ones at Winn-Dixie. I haven't been there yet. Y'all are asking, why don't I just buy the one that's in 100% juice? It is more sugar in it than these. And with his autism, we try to make sure that we are gluten-free, low sugar as possible. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's way better than where we once were if you've been with me for any amount of time. So as far as the sugar content goes on here, one fiber, so it's seven net carbs, and it is six sugars, no added sugars, and there's one sugar alcohol, okay? So um, that's pretty good, and that's from the sucralose. So the ones that are in 100% juice, I mean, I wanna say it's like something, 22 sugars or something, so it definitely makes a difference. And I don't like the sucralose, but we got to do what we got to do. These are great for the kids, which is the Kashi Ripe Strawberry. I've been raving about these bars. So good. Y'all told me there's like a mixed berry or something. I have not seen that one. But if you can get these, these are the cleanest, like knockoff to Nutri-Green breakfast bar that you're going to find. It's better than, uh, watch my bar video. I'll link it down below because we talked about kids bars especially, like what to stay away from. If you're concerned about that for your kids, I'll have that video linked down below. It's a really great one that talks about ingredients in bars for kids and for adults, granola bars, whatever. This is the best one. They love it. So that is a mom win for me. Waylon is obsessed with the bunny crackers. Now we have a little bit left, but not a lot. So I went ahead and got this 50% more win. It's definitely a great deal up at the Walmart. I got paper plate wasted. Now, so my paper plate haters, come on, come at me. 
Come at me. Let's go. Let's go right now. I don't know why we get so much controversy with paper plates. It's not styrofoam. It is paper. It's going to biodegrade. It's going to be all good. And let me tell you, I've been out of these for two weeks because I didn't buy paper plates from our last haul. It was a haul before and the girl has been running the dishwasher one or two times a day. All right. So even when I do have paper plates, I'm still running the dishwasher, especially on lockdown life guys. This is a essential for us. So I got two of the Dixie brand because you can only put so many in your cart for certain brands. And these Dixie brand wasn't expensive. 50 of the eight and a half inch plates. That's the size we like to go for. It's not like that huge plate. It's just perfect. And then I got the great value everyday plates. This was definitely a great price under $2 for 50. And these are the same as these very comparable. I was able to put three in my cart. So I got a ton because I was going to get the big one from Sam's and they were out of stock. So that's equivalent to what I would have got at Sam's club. And the last thing I got at Walmart was some boneless chicken thighs, skinless chicken thighs. They were $12 and 46 cents for almost six pounds not as great of a deal as sam's club but remember i said they were out of stock so happy to have those i'll put those up in freezer bags and take them out for meals and that'll last over the month so that's everything we got at walmart with the online grocery pickup it was a little over 200 dollars. i will tell you the price i don't know the exact price but that's how much it was um so equivalent between walmart and sam's club would have been my real walmart uh real sam's club haul is what i'm trying to say as far as price goes so it went, panned out to be the same price when adding this to what I was able to get at Sam's Club. So I did run into Rouse's because all their energy drinks were out of stock at Walmart for the past couple of weeks. I do like the sparkling ice energy drink. I've never tried the strawberry citrus or the orange passion fruit, so excited to try those. My go-tos are the blue raspberry and the black raspberry. These are sweetened with sucralose, and I did a whole dedicated video on to see if these knock me out of ketosis, so I'll link that in the iCards above and in the description box, but being that I bought them, I think you kind of get the drift. However, they do not have acylfame potassium in them like a lot of other energy drinks do that are known to kick people out of ketosis and also be a cancer-causing agent. I am going to do another ketone test with the beloved Bang this week and that should be coming to you guys this saturday so make sure your notifications are all lit up so you don't miss that one i'm kind of nervous about it i then went a little yogurt crazy did i need it no because i just bought that big mamma jamma from sam's club y'all saw but y'all know i love the yq so much because it's just one gram of sugar and two carbs it's plain i add a perfect keto nut butter to this and some high key granola and you talk about a awesome treat so clean so good and then i love the coconut too good but i can only find it at rouse's so being that i was in there i snagged up the last four they had on the shelf i know and i snagged up the last four two goods but i don't feel bad because every time i go in the rouse's it's usually bare shelf i got what i needed to get because i don't plan on going inside the rouse's again now, the reason why I went in Rouse's is because of the cheese. They were out of stock of Trey's cheese that I used for his keto queso. And y'all know that's an essential around here. So I went ahead and went inside for this. But being that they were out of stock of some other things, I went ahead and picked up those two while I was in there. So I got a pound, almost a pound and a half of the white American cheese for the keto queso. That is a must. And then the last thing we got was out of stock at Walmart. Christy Davis has been raving about these cauliflower risotto medley rice veggies by Green Giant. I usually just use regular rice cauliflower and make my own, but she says these are really good. And what I like is the carb count. So it's two grams of carbs for half a cup prepared. That's a lot for two carbs and two sugars. And it's just cauliflower, mushrooms, and asparagus. How clean is that? So I'm excited to try that because she says they are bomb. So I trust her judgment 100%. So that is everything that I got at Rouse's. Here's everything we got at Walmart, guys. I think we are set for the month. What do y'all think? What are y'all getting for this month? What's on your meal plan? What are some things you're worried about with this meat shortage? Some things that you weren't able to get and you're kind of frustrated. Y'all sound off down below in the comment section. I love conversing with you there. So that's my monthly grocery haul this month, y'all. If you enjoyed these weekly grocery hauls and the monthly ones, the massive ones especially, give it a huge thumbs up right now. That helps the video so much. If you're not subscribed, I would love to have you a part of the family here. So make sure you hit the notification bell and also make sure you click that all notifications are late because a lot of y'all are telling me that you're not getting notified of the videos, which makes me 
so sad and so disappointed in YouTube world. So make sure to click all those bells and whistles. Y'all leave in the comments down below what you were able to get, what you were on the hunt for, what you're still searching for and you can't find. Leave all the things out down in the comments. Sound off down below and we'll all vent together about this grocery store crisis that's been going on since March 13th, right? I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for coming back every single week and watching these videos. It means everything to me and we'll see y'all next week with a little, hopefully cheap and short produce perishable haul. We'll see you then. Bye y'all.